Hi friends, welcome to another video. In today's video, we'll be designing this with an Android application called Pixie Lab. Pixie Lab is a cool application for graphic design. Of course, the first thing we're doing is opening Pixie Lab. And once we open it, we're going to create a shape. The shape we're using is this one here. Then we're going to reduce the opacity. Increase the stroke width to 15. Then after that, we'll turn it upside down. Okay, then we'll also make a copy. For this time, we're going to reduce the stroke width to 5. We're going to change the color to red. And then we we'll reduce it. And put it there. Okay, so after that, then we're going to create another shape. We turn it upside down. We take the white shape to the back. So we just click to back. Then, after we've done that, we're going to change the color of the other shape also. That's the black shape. We change it to blue. That's the color I'm using. You can decide to use another color. Okay, so once we're done with that, we're going to create a text. So, podcast name. We change it. We change it to capital letters. Then we're going to change the color also to blue, and the font also. We change the font. So after that, we're going to increase the font a little and give spacing between the letters. Alright, then we're going to add stroke to the text. But let us, let us first change the color of the text to this. Okay, so we're going to add, add the stroke. using this color so we shape i see the spot you throw my way i know your name is written on everyone's mind right so once we've done that then we'll create another shape So we're going to change the color to the same color that's the blue I've been using since. But this time we're going to take the we're going to take the, the shape to the back of the text. Okay. So once we've done that, also we're going to create another shape. So we're going to make a copy of the white shape that's the one at the back. We're going to create a copy. But we're going to change the color to dark blue and we're also going to cut some parts out as like this then we put it here Okay, then we'll also take it to the back. Yeah, 
So after we've done that, we are going to join everything together. Okay. So since I'm using using it for a thumbnail, I'm going to change the image size to YouTube thumbnail. Then the next thing is to create another test. Then I also change the font. Let's give space in between the letters also. Okay. So once we've done that, then we're going to create a little dot. And we're going to put it next to the tagline. And please, if you watch my video for the first time, please do make sure to subscribe right now for more videos like this. So once I put that there, I'm, going to, I'm also going to create a copy and put it there also, the other side. Alright, so once I've done that, I'm going to import the microphone. You can download the microphone by just going to the video description. There's a link I'll put there. I will take you to where you can download the microphone. So you can also use it. Okay. Let's join everything together first. Not with the microphone. Okay. So now take this down. And let's add stroke to the microphone. So after we've done that, we're going to join everything together. Okay, the next needs to import the background. I'm just going to click from gallery. Also, you can download the background by just clicking on the link that I'll put in the video description. I will take you to the material that I used for the design. Okay, so 
can I put it here? So that's it guys. We are done. I hope the video was helpful. If the video was helpful, please do help by leaving a like and also let me know in the comment section. And if you want me to make another video of something else, let me also know in the comment section. And if you're a new viewer and you have not subscribed yet, please do help by subscribing right now so that you can see more videos like this. Alright, thank you all so so much for watching. See you guys in the next video.